This is what happens when word gets out that a Hollywood star is in the area. But Hollywood is so last year, or it will be if China gets its way. Because China's charging ahead at the Berlinale this year, this is a festival full of Eastern promise. There are three Chinese movies in competition for the top prize alone, the Golden Bear. Nine Chinese films are in screening here. This is a country and an industry that really means business. You know, it's when you look at the numbers, you realize just how huge the Chinese cinema industry is, especially compared to, say, Hollywood. You take a huge US hit like Zero Dark Thirty, released in 2012 in 60 countries worldwide. That took just under 120 million US dollars, which is not an insignificant amount of cash. But compare that to a Chinese movie like Lost in Thailand. In that one country alone, the same year, that movie took a hundred million dollars more. There is so much money to be made in Chinese cinema. So many people seem to want a piece of the action. And big film festivals like the Berlinale, well, they are not bad places to start. Which is why Fruit Chan is here, premiering his thriller, The Midnight After. It took him years to make, not because he's slow, but the process is. Even though China may be changing, the sensors are still very sensitive. They have uh, using at least six months to censor your script. To the government? The government, because they have tell you this part cannot do that. This part, you, can you change something uh, to, to, to instead of like that? This is a torture you know, period. China's richest man is currently building the world's biggest movie complex in his country and he's trying to launch a festival he says will rival Cannes. He's already courting Hollywood. Uh, well, Hollywood is certainly interested in being in bed with China. We've seen that in the last uh, couple of years with uh, the attempt to do more official co-productions and also the casting of Chinese actors in Hollywood movies. The world is watching China in general. China hopes the world will be watching its movies too. Wow. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera at the Berlin Film Festival.